Hi, I'm Carrie Lee. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a little 10 minute toning on our legs, including that hard to reach inner thigh area. So be sure to just grab a towel or some sort of cushy mat and let's get going. So let's start out lying down. We're going to stack our hips to the side, rest on your elbow, and you can use your other hand for support if you like. And we're going to do some leg lifts to the side. If you're a dancer, make sure that you don't do the usual turnout that we would usually be asking for. You want to keep your hips rolled forward and perfectly stacked with your kneecap facing front. And we're just going to do little pulses up. And point your toe and flex. Stomach is tight and flex. You should feel a little cramp right here for eight again. Now touch to the front, touch to the back, lift, touch, lift. Do this for eight. Eight again and touch, lift. stretch, release that cramp, and take that leg. I like to put my foot behind, but if you, but you need to stay with your hips stacked. So if you have trouble keeping, you don't want your hips to start rolling back, you could also put your foot in the front. And we're going to keep control and we're going to lift the lower leg for eight with the toe pointed. And flex. Point again. And flex. Good. Let's roll over to the other side. Again, your hips are stacked. Knee is pointed to the front. Start out with the flexed foot. And up for eight. Flex. You feel it right here. And point. Keep your hips stacked up and point to the front. Up and back. Up, front, back, front. Make sure you lift every time. Eight more and front. foot behind. We're going to raise this one and up. And flex. Eight again. And up. Really feel that right here. And try not to collapse into your shoulder. Pressing down into your elbow. Good your feet together in the front just to release any cramping you might have been having there and relax and over roll up now let's transition over onto our knees and we're going to um, just do lifts to the back point your heel you're reaching up with your heel to the ceiling 
and I'm comfortable on my on my hands. I feel like I have more control of of um, tension getting into my lower back. But if you're more comfortable down here, you can do that as well. And we're just going to pulse up to the ceiling. Keep pulsing. more counts of eight. Last eight. And contract and back. Contract and back. Make sure that's controlled. Don't just swing your leg. Getting a little crunch. that out and give your arms a break. Ooh, you can swing over to that side and really stretch out the hip you were just working. And come back up to the other side. Start out with the heel pulsing up towards the ceiling. And up. Really feel this crunch in your glutes. Keep your abs and switch over so that we're now on our back. Good. So your feet should be not right against your hips, a little bit out. And we're going to squeeze with our glutes as we lift up here and pull your stomach in so your pelvis kind of tilts as you squeeze up sure you're not just lifting but that you are really squeezing right here as you go up keep going up. We're going to add the knees coming in every time. And make sure you're squeezing in, not just moving your hips up and down and your legs in and out, but 
that you are with your mind. Target those muscles and squeeze. Keep going. Up. Squeeze in. You should feel this in your inner thighs, the backs of your legs, and your glutes. just be touching, they should be squeezing together, squeeze, and we have to focus on the squeeze. Now this time I want you to hold your hips up and pulse together with your knees, you should be squeezing your glutes the whole time, feeling a little cramp by now, press up squeeze, knees together. Good. Now keep your knees tight and pulse. Hold it up and squeezing with your inner thighs and your glutes, toes. Stretch that leg out, pull up towards your shoulder and down towards the floor. And reverse. Feels good to take that knee out, take it across, up towards your shoulder. So now that you've got these muscles all warmed up and a little worked out, it's a perfect time to stretch. So we're going to take just a minute to stretch. Again, put, I always say, the palms of your feet together and round over. Let the weight of your head pull you forward and just relax here for a minute. And roll up. And cross one foot over the other. Put your elbow against your knee. Look over your shoulder. Feels great on my spine. And reverse that. Knee against elbow. Look over your shoulder. Um, nice, comfortable second position. Sit up nice and tall. stretch too far, really think of reaching out. You should be nice and warm. And reach it up and out the other way. In the center. Try to put the top of your head, just let it fall down towards the floor. And roll up. Your head is the last thing to come up. Now if you can, Try standing up without putting your hands on the floor. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Be sure to like and subscribe and check back next week. I hope to see you here.